Hello, Sean. Nice Hello, to meet Barisa. you. Nice to meet you. Good but, to meet uh, you too. I don't have a lot of time because uh, I am in Amit now uh, for the first day of uh, this forum. And uh, let's talk about this four and uh, about your book, about your ideas, um, about your ideas, about uh, new rules of the world. Uh, I, I would like to introduce um, uh, our people uh, to the situation. We will, um, uh, format, we'll uh, publish in um, your book, The New Rules of the War in Ukraine, and uh, let's talk about the new rules of the war. Uh, the war has been uh, going for a month, and uh, are you surprised? I am not surprised, uh, because the new rules of war, it lays out, I think, some things we've seen. For example, that conventional war is dead. And Russia used a conventional war to attack Ukraine, and it hasn't worked out for them, as well as cyber and some other things. And also, I think the what I've always said is that people matter more than platforms. And the the idea of you know Ukraine Ukrainians have inspired the world in the resistance to um, the Russian juggernaut. But uh, for from my point of view, I think uh, this uh, war now uh, looks like a regular war. Um, in the same way we see uh, a few thousand years ago uh, during the Second uh, uh, war, uh, World War. Uh, because we, we, we is the same bombing uh, by artillery, by uh, aviation. Uh, we have the tanks battles uh, near uh, Kharkiv, near, near Kiev, in uh, uh, Mariupol. Well, the situation is uh, in Mariupol is uh, looks like Stalingrad, right? And there have uh, been, complete, yeah, there have been, yes. Excuse me, and the completely destroyed uh, town and the tank battles. Uh, in the same situation uh, as uh, we saw in our uh, fathers. So in Stalingrad, uh, our grandfathers. Yes. So in Stalingrad, uh, a lot years, uh, many years ago. Yes. And there has been examples of this. I mean, there's, you know, the Battle of Kursk for your grandfathers, the Battle of Kharkiv, when the Germans took, after Stalingrad, took Kharkiv. And there are some elements of that today, but I think my larger point is that um, I expect that Russia will go into an unconventional war phase where it will look more like Grozny II or Aleppo because um, conventional war is, has its limitations in the 21st century and that some of, the, some of the, the weapons that Ukraine has done well with don't fire bullets or like communication, uh, you know, social media, a humor, um, you know, like the St. Javelin sticker or emblem has gone around the world and as well as inspired you know um your your president Zelensky talking in front of parliament u.s congress to remind them of their obligations to human rights democracy and so forth so i think that um it shows that unlike pure conventional war of our great grandfathers my great grand my grandfather fought in uh the battle of the bulge uh, in in world war ii um there are more elements to this than just raw firepower um but i, I do think that the, the ukrainian resistance and the 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 warriors of ukraine uh, are very sort of what i would consider new rules of war warriors and um and i think they've inspired the world Okay, uh, I think um, after uh, our victory, I, I, we are believe in victory. It, uh, it is hard to imagine it now for all world, but a uh, uh, few weeks ago, um, many, many of uh, um, people in the United States, in Europe, um, uh, have thought that uh, Three, four days, and Russians will be in Kyiv. 
yeah but we are struggling uh, uh, month and the uh, russian sami russian troops uh, haven't uh, great success the uh, them stopped on the, on the main uh, <clears throat> uh, sorry on the, on the uh, main directions, Russians mm -hmm. stopped, and uh, now we have a position war, uh, the regular war. But uh, I, I think uh, that uh, next month uh, we'll uh, we'll check your ideas about um, about uh, the new rules of war, and uh, you'll have a new material for a new edition of uh, your book. That's right. That's true. Yes. And, uh, what do you want to wish uh, us to Ukrainians? to your uh, f future readers of your books, uh, what uh, they want to wish us? Well, uh, first of all, I, th I think Ukraine has taught the world about modern warfare and has inspired the world um, and uh, has really shown Russia is not, you know, as a bully that can be, that can be broken to, to break his teeth in, as I've heard you say. Um, but I think, um, look, the... Every minute that this war lasts is bad for Putin. Every minute that the, the war lasts is good for Ukraine. Because rule number 10 of the 10 new rules of war is that victory is fungible. And what this means is that there's many ways to win. And the big army loses if it does not win, which is Russia. And the, the smaller army or the guerrilla wins if they do not lose. And I think what Ukraine can do if they could protract the conflict and get international attention into the conflict, they will win. Okay, and uh, what is your forecast uh, for um, nuclear uh, missile bombing of Kyiv, of Kharkiv, of Poland? It's a it's a great question. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what, what goes inside of Putin's mind. And if he gets um, cornered or desperate, I don't know because his ego is so large. It's hard to know where Putin's ego ends and Russian national security begins. So if he does a tactical nuke in in Ukraine or even in Siberia to show the world. Um, that may change Western calculus about getting involved in this war because they might decide like it's, you know, this is a, a different type of red line and we'd rather get involved now before he does a nuclear weapon in a NATO country. So I think that um, if Putin does a nuclear weapon, it's, it's a different world that we all live in. The last nuclear weapon was Hiroshima um, in Japan, 1945. So I think that it would reset everything that we think we know about Russia. So I think it, um, it would be a terrible, terrible tragedy, but um, it, could bring, it could bring the world to deal with Russia in a much more severe way. Thank you. Thank you for your time. For your book and uh, hope uh, hope to meet you in ukraine uh, yes. after, after our victory yes i agree and uh, maybe we can talk in two weeks and and see if the new rules of war have changed so. <laughs> <laughs> thank you sean all right thank, day, you, thank you very much thank I, you uh, thank you very much bye-bye